We're at Bloodstock, and I'm joined by one of the stars of the show, and Sepultura. Welcome to Bloodstock. Thank you very much. <laughs> have you? I mean, it sounds a silly question, but have you had far to come, or are you on a tour anyway? Far. <laughs> I want a tour, yeah, always. <laughs> That's the best part of it. And you're doing festivals in Europe at the moment? Yeah, yeah. We've been uh, uh, since uh, May in Europe, and now in the UK. Uh, we've been through, we started in Rock and Rio in May and been through Wacken, uh, doing Bloodstock, we go to Summer Breeze in Germany, some other festivals that we, we're doing through this summertime in Europe. Sepultura as a band has had a few lineup changes along the way over the years. Is it, is it a fairly settled band now? Are you, is the group of you uh, fairly settled in what you're doing? I hope so. <laughs> That's all, well, otherwise, we're going to uh, turn into a spinal tap, like, ten, like <laughs> 20 drummers. <laughs> uh, but uh, I hope that uh, this time is for good. You know? We had some changes, but uh, every, every member that was in the, on the past, they re really represent the band. Uh, and uh, they just decided to not continue, and they, they had their own reasons. So uh, my, my decision uh, and the rest of the guys is to keep going. So. And when you do a live set, like particularly at a festival like this, yeah, yeah. and you've got the fans who know the, the, the recent albums, and you've also got fans who know the early albums, do you have to play music from uh, all of them? We don't have to do it, but we do. We do, it depends, uh, I don't know how long we're playing today, it depends how the, the time that we have. And, uh, and we, try to, we try to play at least something for each record. And, uh, it's, uh, uh, but sometimes in the festivals it's very hard to do it because you, 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 most of the time we have a shorter time than we usually play. We play like an hour, an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes. So we can really explore the, the, the set list on that and change it. But when you do festivals, if you have like an hour, so you have to really you know, fight for and pick the songs and it's always, that's the problem. And how many songs have you actually got rehearsed that you can actually play live? Are you good? Do you have a lot of songs that you don't play very often? We have some, yeah, there have songs that we never played and uh, there's songs that we have ready. There's a lot of songs and there's songs that we, it's not ready, but we even try to play in the middle of the set. And sometimes come out good, sometimes doesn't. So, so it's always free. So if somebody know. says, hey, let's play this one, and the rest yeah, of you go, hey, hang on, how does that go? Yeah, it's depend on, it always depends on the mood of the day, you know. You know it comes out and pops in your head, and uh, it's such play a riff there, and uh, just keep going until we can remember. If we can remember, just stop and start to laugh. <laughs> when, when you do a, when you're doing a, a, a headlining show, yes. of course they're your fans that are there. Yeah. When you're playing a festival, there are a wide range of people who like maybe some who like you, some who never heard of you almost. You know, do you find the crowd at a festival reacts to different songs than a crowd at a headlining show? Yeah, definitely. You know, there's a. Uh but well, the headline shows you, you see a lot of the, the most uh, vicious uh, fans that are they're there. A lot of them, they're, they're there for so many years. You know, they, they really know the whole the whole discography. And sometimes we play in a festival, and we've done, um, not only in the metal festival, Simple Twitter has done, we already played through in jazz festivals and a lot of mixing. It's a beauty about us that we can go to uh, diverse to any, to any sort of, um, challenge you know and um, and a lot of people uh, really get into it somehow and by the end of the set everybody's like really into the show so th that's that's very it's very nice when you see that happen is that the South American influence so you can do with them that's why you can do a jazz festival for example yeah I guess so you know just the way we, we see music in a different way now we played rock heavy metal but we play with a uh, with a little bit with a, with a, a little bit of different flavor because we're from Brazil. So, and you're the one, of course, that puts that flavor in very often. <laughs> we always try to do that, and uh, it's something that comes naturally. You know, it's part of the, it's part of the the culture, the the place that you're born. So there's no way to avoid that. Okay, let me put you on the spot now. We're going to play a couple of tracks. I want to play a track off the new album, so I want you to pick a track off the new album for me. Right. And I want you to pick a track from the early years that is still popular with the crowd. So which, which what two tracks should we play? Well, I think, um, I don't know the set list so far, but I think we're going to play Hata Mahata from Roots. The, the crowd really enjoys that because it has a little flavor in the, the, the Brazilian swing on it. 
so it's good to do when we do in festivals and uh, the response is very it's very good always and I'll pick uh, the, from the new album I, I the song that I like to play the most live uh, nowadays is dialogue it's a very heavy and uh, it's, it's cut, cuts across on the set list and uh, seems to, to to catch a lot of the, the people's attention so it's very nice good we'll do that thank you very much for joining us here uh, enjoy you. bloodstock I will thank you thank you very much good.